Welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it has turned out. All in the hopes to try something new yourself or to make you laugh through my trial and errors. I post a new video every Tuesday, so please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out. In this week's video, I am going to be doing newspaper weaving. I'm going to be making like a newspaper basket and the lid for my laundry hamper. I have seen the weaving of the basket done two different ways. You can either roll the newspaper into like tiny little tubes or fold glue and keep folding and gluing into strips as wide as you want. I'm going to be doing the strips one. So I might save the rolling technique for a newspaper art piece. This is cardboard base that I want to use as the base for the basket to strengthen it up. I've seen it done a couple different ways where they've just used the newspaper, glued it or sewn the newspaper on here and then extended the basket up from there. I'm actually going to be gluing the newspaper on the bottom side of this and I'm going to make it perfectly square. I have no idea how wide the actual pieces are going to end up in the end. I do just want to keep it a full length and then fold and fold and fold and see how it goes because I do want it to be nice and sturdy. Let's get started, see how it goes. Almost a half inch that first fold. Everything said to glue that one down and then keep folding and then glue the last one down. Walk you through my first one. Currently hot glue is pretty much the only glue that I have in the house. Everything that I researched said it, it didn't really matter what type of glue you used. So now that has some strength to it so I'm gonna skip gluing for a little while. Nice. That is actually really sturdy, but yet still workable. Almost the same width. So I think that might work out okay in the end. Repeat that a ton of times. I was working away last night and I ended up with 40 pieces so far. I think that is enough to cover my 12 by 12 base. They aren't long enough to go up the sides as high as I want, so I've been making other strips to add to that. I don't know quite how I'm gonna do that yet, but I just wanted to build the base and then go from there. I'm just gonna keep the cardboard underneath so I kind of have a gauge on how wide this is gonna be. So I'm just gonna start roughly in the middle, just doing my weave and going from there. Okay, scratch that. I don't even know how to do this. I have no idea how to weave. I do know it's over, under, over, under. I'm trying to tighten it up. I'm hoping once I get more on there, I can just keep tightening this up. It's enough weaved and tight going this way. See what I can do about the other direction. I think maybe the trick was to keep it loose and then shore it up after. I don't even know. Happy with those two. Not sure if I can get those two any tighter. That's it for that end. Just try to tighten those up a bit more. I think those might have to be glued. Okay, that side's good. That side's good. I'm pretty happy with that. Just going to glue gun the last row on, just so it's nice and secure. These last two and this last one, I'm gonna to try to tighten up before I glue that last row on each end. And then I wanna glue the base on. These are still pretty tight and those are really big gaps. So each side might look a little different. I have no idea. I'm not looking for this glue to help hold it together within itself. I'm just hoping it'll help me work with it as I move it around without falling apart. I wait for that to dry. Some people that did not use cardboard, they just kept weaving and then I think eventually just folded the up the side. So taking a different approach, slightly wrong, but I don't think there's any wrong in creativity. Just trial and errors. 
trimmed all of my lengths up to be about the same size and now I am gluing extra pieces on the inside. So on the outside there'll be this little lip. So for the side that's nicely tightly woven where I have it strengthened up with the shorter piece and then the additional longer piece, it's pretty tight to get anything through it. So I've just made these two strips the same height as the original weave bottom and I'm just gonna weave that through and do the same on the other side and then figure out what to do with the rest from there. I'm just literally figuring it out as I go along. So currently following the same weave as the bottom so whatever was up is now below and vice versa. And I'm gonna push that as low as I can get it. Oh, and you feel like you need a third arm. So these extra pieces on the side, I'm hoping to secure to whatever I end up doing on the side to help hold it up. Well, it looks like I didn't even need to weave that. Ah, oh, that did absolutely nothing. Try again. Hot enough yet? Okay, right in the center. Go from there. Start from the center and work my way out just for slack purposes and making it nice and strong and tight together. I was hoping originally to get that a little tighter into the weave itself, so it's a bit too long right now. Yeah, every single one of these is gonna have to be secured down. The weaving is finally done. Other than the fact that I'm trying to rush through it, which I don't, I never recommend for any project, it should be more relaxing. I do like it. It's very inexpensive. It's just the cost of the glue. I love repurposing stuff and reusing and recycling. So doing that with the newspaper is great. I do need to add a little bit more glue. This is falling apart. I have this basket here helping me hold the side up and I have these weights helping me hold everything in place. I have done this one corner already. In the bottom where I used the wide piece of newspaper, I have been cutting that off. Once I get above that, the tight side where the wide band is, I've just been gluing the pieces down over top on both sides and I don't mind the way that looks, but on the sides here, where it's not so tight and I can weave. I am doing it properly and I am weaving the newspaper back through. Just starting in the bottom corner and I am working my way up. Doing the outside, doing the inside and then just repeating that all the way up. There's the inside, there's the right side that has the wide band, there's just your basic weave side. I'm pretty happy with this so far. I've got a lot of ends to go in and then just hot glue gun a lot more after I get this last side up. And done project number one. I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty sturdy. The cardboard box added to the bottom really does help. The tighter side obviously is a little bit sturdier. That's fine. DIY weaving a newspaper basket. The last project that I did in the DIY newspaper weaving was the lid for the laundry basket that I want to make. Um, I'm hoping the handle will stand up. I did a little bit of a, just a roll on the end. This newspaper lid, I am going to be painting this dark gray to match the actual basket. I didn't mind doing this project. It is very relaxing, just folding the newspaper. It's quite messy. Everything gets pretty black and a lot of glue gun bits come off. A little bit of a lengthy project. Overall, not too bad and very cheap to do. Thank you so much for watching my video.